bomb after bomb. Miss after miss. Not one hit. The Japanese come through the attack unchecked. The invasion of Midway is still on. 5,000 troops stand by for landing orders. But Spruance's task force is closing in. The Admiral now knows the approximate location of the enemy carriers. It is June the 4th, 1942. A moment for command decision. Pilots are summoned to the ready room and briefed. Crewmen are called to station. Spruance has cast the die. The task force will risk an all-out attack against superior odds, hoping to surprise the enemy, hoping to annihilate the enemy. In all three American carriers, in Hornet, in Enterprise, in Yorktown, the young and the brave prepare for battle. Some will fall in flames from the sky they seek to dominate. Some will perish in the ocean, whose mastery they seek to win. But the ritual of launching takes its disciplined course, as precise and ordered as a ballet. the approaching American fleet, prepares for another strike on Midway Island. Below decks, the pilots are at ease, while their planes, which are armed with torpedoes, in case the United States Navy is sighted, are rearmed for another bombing mission. Poor intelligence is an enemy blunder, a godsend to sports. But all out attack, begins with all-out disaster. Hornet's Torpedo Squadron 8 runs into murderous enemy flak and swarming Zero fighters. But Torpedo 8's 15 planes, all are destroyed. And not one hit is scored. Out of a total of 41 torpedo planes from three carriers, only six survive. The news is grim. But the attack continues. The dive bombers go in. Enemy defenses, off balance from the earlier assault, are unequal to the new attack. The carriers are hit. In two amazing minutes, the course of battle is reversed. It is the Americans who inflict the slaughter. The Japanese crumble. Akagi, smashed and sinking. Kaga, smashed and sinking. The American submarine Nautilus jumps into the fight and sights the smoking carrier Soryu. Torpedoes from below are added to bombs from above. Soryu, 
smashed and sinking. One Japanese carrier, off to the north, remains untouched. The Hiryu. A scouting plane finally spots the Americans. The Japanese lash back. knows it. Detection gear picks up the avenging enemy. 30 to 40 planes approaching from west-southwest, 40 miles out. Hell is on the wing. Fighters take off to meet the attack. From ship and sky, the Japanese encounter fierce defense, but they press their assault to the limit. Retaliation is on the way. Planes from the Enterprise ring down the curtain on the Battle of Midway. Here you, smashed and sinking. Four Japanese carriers, gone. And with them, their irreplaceable pilots. Yorktown is dead. But so are Japanese plans to dominate the Eastern Pacific. Admiral Spruance, his ships, and his men have won the Battle of Midway, one of the most decisive victories in naval history. The Imperial Japanese Navy 